Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain how to create file based trigger for Databricks notebooks. This is also called event based trigger. But what is that? Before understanding file based trigger, let us understand what is a schedule based trigger. Schedule based trigger is nothing but creating some schedule for particular time interval. Let us assume I have created a Databricks pipeline which should be executed every day morning at 8 o'clock. Then I can create a schedule based trigger which means I can schedule the notebook at 8, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning every day. So it will be executed. That is schedule based. But that is not suitable for all the use cases. Let us assume we are receiving the input file at 6 o'clock in the morning. So even after receiving the files, the, the process will trigger after 2 hours. So we are wasting 2 hours in the meantime. Even this situation is fine, but it is not impacting the flow. But let us imagine we are going to receive the input file 5 minutes later than the schedule. What would have happened? The schedule would have completed without processing the file. And the file is not going to be processed. It will be processed in the next day. So we are wasting a lot of time. So schedule based trigger is not suitable for all the use cases. In certain scenarios, we have to process the file as soon as it arrives. That is called event based trigger. So how can we achieve this uh, event based trigger for Databricks notebooks? Which means once we receive a file, input file, immediately it should be processed. How we can do? Actually Databricks is providing few solutions within Databricks uh, environment itself such as Spark streaming or Databricks streaming that is called auto loader or Delta live table. These are few options. But these options are more suitable for streaming use cases, not suitable for patch processing. In the example that I have given, every day we have to process the file once in a day. That is kind of patch processing. So going with the streaming process is not a better option. Then how we can do? For that, we don't have any direct solution within Databricks, but we can go with workaround of involving Azure Data Factory as well. In Azure Fa Data Factory, we have a concept of a trigger. There are three different types of triggers. Within that, one is event-based trigger, storage uh, event-based, which means whenever we are going to receive new file within data, data lake storage, then by detecting that event, Databricks Data Factory trigger can invoke Data Factory pipeline. So what is event-based trigger in ADF, which means whenever new file arrives into data lake storage, then Azure Data Factory trigger can detect that event and it can invoke Data Factory pipeline immediately. And it's not only for new file arrival, it could be even for one file deletion. These are called different events. So as soon as event happens, then the trigger will invoke Data Factory pipeline. And I'm going to chain Databricks notebook with Data Factory pipeline activity. So this is going to be overall architecture to achieve this solution. So what happens is we are going to receive one new file into Azure Data Lake Storage. That is the input for Databricks notebook. So I am introducing Data Factory in between and I am creating event based trigger. So what happens is whenever new file arrives, Data Factory trigger will sense that then it will invoke ADF pipeline. ADF pipeline is calling Databricks notebook. So finally the incoming file will be processed. That is the architecture. Hope you understood. Let's get started with the demo. For this demo, I have created one simple uh, use case. In this use case, what I'm going to do is I have created one Databricks notebook. That notebook will uh, detect the la uh, latest or the most recent file under a particular data lake storage. And from there, it will pick the latest file. Then it will create a data frame. Then it is going to write that output into Azure SQL uh, database. That is the requirement. Now, Coming to data lake storage, this is my data lake storage. I have one container called demo within that I have one folder event trigger. So as per my requirement, as soon as I receive new file under this folder, then immediately that file should be processed using my Databricks notebook. That is my requirement. For that, what I'm going to do is currently this folder is empty, but whenever I'm going to get new file, then my data factory will detect that file, that event, then it will invoke this ADF, uh, data, uh, data bricks notebook. So coming to data bricks, I can walk through the steps. First, I'm defining my uh, root folder. That is uh, my uh, container in the storage location. 
then based on python logic i am uh, i am uh, getting the latest i am identifying the most recent file once i have identified the most recent file i am creating data frame for that once I have created data frame, then using JDBC connection, I am writing that data into my Azure SQL database. Coming to my Azure SQL database, currently I am having one table employee, which is having one record, two columns, name and salary. And my incoming data files would also contain the structure like name and salary. Hope you can um, understand and connect the dots in this architecture. So what happens is, we are going to put new file under this uh, storage location then it will be detected by uh, data factory uh, trigger then it is going to invoke the pipeline within ADF and ADF pipeline is going to invoke Databricks notebook and Databricks notebook is going to identify the latest file that uh, came into this data lake storage then it will create the data frame and it will write the data into Azure data lake Azure uh, uh, database Azure SQL database that is the end of this pipeline. I hope you understood. So in this arc, in this solution, once we have developed a, a data bricks pipeline and also we have created data factory pipeline, then we are going to schedule. Then whenever new file arrives, immediately the file will be processed. We don't need to do anything. This is called event based process, event based trigger. I hope you understood. Now coming back to my ADF, I have created um, a pipeline already. In order to create a notebook activity, so we can get into Databricks notebook activity or we can search here directly notebook. But I have already uh, created that uh, pipeline. So this is my notebook activity. Within the notebook uh, activity, I have to choose linked services. Using this linked service, ADF will be able to connect with Databricks. So I have already created and I have tested the connection as well. It is working fine. And uh, apart from this linked services, we have to choose the file which we have to use. So in this case, my notebook name is real time project get recent most file. So I have already selected that in this uh, browse option. This is uh, Databricks notebook. I have already selected and it is not accepting any input parameters. So I don't need to give any parameter here. I hope you understood now pipeline is created and I have tested this pipeline. This is working properly. Now the only pending part is I have to set up event based trigger. So for that we have to create trigger. So in order to create a new trigger, what we can do is now either we can click on this trigger and click on new edit. Otherwise we can get into manage blade within manage blade. We can get into triggers within that we can click on uh, um, uh, new. Then it will open new form for the trigger. So this form is nothing but it's a configuration. It's a definition of a particular trigger and this particular definition can be attached with any number of uh, pipelines because uh, pipeline and trigger it's having many to many relationship. So in order to create a new trigger first we have to give a name. Then after that coming to type as I told earlier we are having schedule based tumbling window based and event based. So in this example we are going to choose storage um, events. Then after that we have to choose you know which from which storage account we have to uh, detect the event so i have my storage account within this uh, subscription so i am going with this option then i am selecting my storage account subscription then storage account within that it will ask for the container so container we have to give within two slash if you don't give slash then it will throw error so it's very important to give a slash let me give without slash then it will throw error so even in the instruction, clearly we can see you know, the container name should be given within two slash. So I have uh, given this one. Then which path? In case I don't give any path, what happens is you know at this uh, container level, at any folder, whenever there is a new file created, then the event will be detected. Then probably you know it, the pipeline might be triggered many number of times. Even um, uh, even uh, you know the file which is not related to this particular pipeline even for that um, uh, event the pipeline will be triggered in order to avoid that we can give the right folder name in this case it's event uh, trigger that is my uh, folder name so this is what i have to give right then uh, we have to mention which event we have to create this trigger so it's only for file uh, blob created that means new file created or file deleted or for both you know, we can choose this is how we can define this uh, trigger event based trigger configuration
right i have already created one uh, trigger so that's the reason i'm not going to create uh, i can cancel but one more important thing is before defining this event based trigger we have to register event grid with an azure uh, subscription so that is one of the important step otherwise this event trigger will not will not work uh, will not work in the right way so for that we have to get into subscription let us get into subscription i can search a subscription in my azure portal then within that i have to choose the subscription then within that i have to get into resource uh, providers within that we have to search for microsoft dot event grid here i have already registered but um, in case you haven't registered in your portal first time it would um, uh, show the status as unregistered then we have to uh, choose this one we have to click on register but anyway i have registered already so that's the reason it's not needed once we have registered then we can create event based trigger uh, in the way i have shown uh, just now in this case i have already created this event based trigger it's the same way i have explained now once we have created our event based trigger next step is we have to attach this event based trigger with our notebook so in my pipeline i have already created uh, notebook activity within that i have integrated uh, my databricks notebook now we have to attach the event based trigger with this uh, pipeline for that we have to click on this one the new edit then we can choose uh, the trigger currently i have already chosen this event that's the reason it is not coming in the list so we have to choose i have already chosen so uh, it is attached the event based trigger which we created earlier for uh, new file creation that is um, you know attached with this notebook now we have completed all the setup we are good now let me go to my azure sql let me run the query currently in this table i am having only one record there are two columns name and uh, salary and only one uh, uh, record that is raja and thousand now what i am going to do is i am going to drop one new file into this one into this location then what will happen is it will immediately trigger you know this uh, new file this uh, this new file creation that is called event this event will be detected by uh, data factory trigger then that trigger will invoke this particular pipeline where we are having databricks notebook activity and uh, this databricks notebook activity will invoke uh, databricks notebook and databricks notebook will identify the latest file within this location then it will uh, create data frame and it will write the output into azure sql database this is the entire flow hope you understood now let me drop one new file into this location i am adding the first file event file 1 upload let me show you what is there inside this uh, content It's a pipe to limited uh, CSV file. It is having name and salary. Name is Mike. Salary is 2000. Now we have added this file. As soon as we added this file, as soon as this file arrived into this location, then ADF trigger would have uh, identified this one. Then it would have invoked the ADF pipeline. ADF pipeline would have invoked Databricks uh, notebook. Then Databricks notebook will write the uh, will read this file. Okay, under this location, even we are going to have hundreds of files. Then, as per the Databricks logic, it will pick the only the latest file. Then that file will be processed and um, it will uh, write the output into Azure SQL database. That is the end-to-end -end flow. Earlier we were having only one record for this query output. Now, after some time, when uh, this particular trigger completes, then we can see one more output also for Mike. Let me, in order to monitor this uh, execution, let me get into monitor section. Then I can go to uh, trigger runs. Within the trigger runs, I can either go to all or I can go to storage events. This is what uh, I have uh, chosen, uh, uh, event, storage events. Here you, you, clearly we can see, you know, this is uh, this particular run completed just now. So now let me go to my Azure SQL and I run the query once again. This time we can see one more record that we added recently through that new file. So this is end-to-end -end process. So now onwards what happens is whenever new file arrives into this location, immediately that file will be processed by Databricks and it will be written into Azure SQL. 
i hope you understood the importance of uh, event based um, uh, scheduling uh, which means whenever we are receiving some file it should be processed immediately that requirement can be achieved by this solution hope you understood and enjoyed this uh, concept if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell button to get uh, latest databricks uh, uh, tips thank you